Eyes appear to have it. The motion agreed to. A $1.3 trillion spending bill passed through the U.S. Senate early Friday, several hours after sailing through the House. It will keep the government running till September, and while President Donald Trump is expected to sign it into law, this is not the budget he may have wanted. It ends a long fight over the bill with several stopgaps along the way. Congress was supposed to have approved it October 1st last year, meaning they passed it after the fiscal year was already halfway over. But much of what Trump asked for in this year's State of the Union address fell way short. That includes immigration programs and massive funding for infrastructure. But he landed the largest spike in defense spending in 15 years, tweeting, quote, had to waste money on dim giveaways in order to take care of military pay increase and new equipment. He also said the bill would give him $1.6 billion to build his border wall. The Senate voted 65 to 32 on the bill. Some of those no's were fiscal Republicans. Senator Rand Paul spent a chunk of Thursday fuming on Twitter about what he called unnecessary spending in a, quote, monstrous bill. However, there's one issue that's been left hanging. What will happen to young undocumented immigrants protected under DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program? Trump blamed Democrats after the House vote, saying they refused to take care of DACA. Would have been so easy, but they just didn't care. With Trump's signature, there's no government shutdown this Friday at midnight, and lawmakers can focus on getting reelected in November.